This video will explore a paper testing the limits of weekly supervised pre-training. They begin their paper by discussing the ImageNet dataset. The ImageNet dataset is regarded as one of these massive datasets that are used for pre-training uh, computer vision models, but they argue that ImageNet is small by modern standards. With only 1.2 million images in 1K classes, they look to the Instagram uh, images to see if they can get a bigger dataset. So this is the idea behind weekly supervised Instagram images. People are posting on Instagram like crazy with these hashtags like hashtag brown bear. Just a specific hashtag like brown bear has 220,000 plus images with this hashtag. So scraping these images, they're able to get 3.5 billion images that are labeled with the hashtags. So compared to pre-training on the image net, they have 79.8% accuracy all the way up to 854 when they use this uh, image net, uh, I meant Instagram, uh, weekly supervised labeling to pre-train the model. And they also find a similar improvement on the object detection where you draw the uh, bounding box measured by this uh, MAP mean average precision. So then they look into hashtag engineering, which is how can they refine the label space? They have things like hashtag brown bear, hashtag bear, hashtag, I don't know, zoo maybe. And so they're going to look now into how can they refine the label space to add more structure and get a better result when pre-training on this massive data set that is labeled really noisily. So they construct these three different uh, label space tests to test the effectiveness of hashtag engineering. The first one is they map the hashtags to the same sin sets as ImageNet, then they use this uh, WordNet sin set taxonomy. So WordNet is this thing developed at Princeton where they have uh, like a taxonomy of relationships. So if you go to bear, it would take you down to this like hierarchy of bear is like the children of bear is bear cub, brown bear, Bruin, black bear, etc. And then each of these things, they have their own children as well. So the ImageNet classes are arranged in this hierarchy of sin sets derived by WordNet. So they're going to experiment with a massive model, this ResNext architecture, which is like the ResNet model, but with grouped convolutions. And then they're going to do SGD on 336 GPUs across 42 machines using a batch size of over 8,000 images. So these are their results. This is the uh, first thing where they just uh, use these different Instagram sets divided based on their labels. And they pre-train on these data sets and then transfer into ImageNet classification. And already you see an enormous improvement compared to just using the ImageNet data set, which this chart right here is, is really interesting showing how effective this can be. So then the next thing they do is they inject artificial noise into the ImageNet dataset to showcase how important it is to reduce this label noise for their weekly supervised learning. So you see when the label noise goes down to 50%, the accuracy drops from 82.1 to 76.1. So this chart right here shows that it's really important to look at uh, refining the label space and going from weekly supervised closer to supervised. So then this uh, graph shows the importance of increasing the model capacity to match this 3.5 billion image uh, pre-training set. So they show, you see the purple uh, chart on the top is the Instagram, how it responds to a larger capacity compared to how the ImageNet does. So the ImageNet is already saturated at uh, like 2 to the 35 flops in the model capacity, but the purple one hasn't quite saturated yet. It looks like it may even keep improving as you make it larger. So the discussion, they, they basically uh, group the data sets into the dimensions of the hashtag vocabulary size, the training set size, the noise in the hashtag set, and then the hashtag sampling strategy, you know, like how you choose which hashtags you pull from the Instagram corpus. So in total, they achieve a 1.5% improvement over the other techniques, which are revolved around optimized network architectures. So like what uh, Google is frequently pu uh, publishing is like neural architecture search and efficient net where they search for an optimal uh, arrangement of layers and information such that it gets a really high uh, accuracy. So it's interesting to think about how you might combine neural architecture search and then this Instagram pre-training technique without like a really ridiculous amount of computation needed. So in the end, they conclude that uh, label space engineering at this point is more important than adding more data. They find that their uh, accuracy gains are saturating with just adding more data from the Instagram set with the weekly supervised labels. But as they try to refine the labels, they're getting a really good improvement over that. 
So thanks for watching this video on weekly supervised pre-training. Please subscribe to Henry AI Labs for more deep learning videos.